To be a good lover is to appreciate life in a meaningful way. I agree. It is about understanding the depths of our connections. Have you asked yourself this question? Whether I'm a good lover, better lover, or a poor lover, right? So being a good lover means a lot to us. And uh, being a poor lover also means a lot to us, especially in our relationship. And you know, human relationship is a cluttered, unpredictable, messy affair, isn't it? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. And the problem is whether a human and robot partner or a love robot can teach us to be a better lover or not. That depends on many things. And the idea, overall the idea, it hinges on their potential as sophisticated non-judgmental tools for practicing relational skills and beyond that. Why I'm saying so? Because human robots can help by providing a safe environment to learn empathy, communication and patience. Now, if you look, uh, try to look from a harder perspective, these robots are equipped with advanced sensors, cameras to analyze uh, facial expressions and microphones for vocal tone and biometric sensors to read physiological cues like heart rate, etc. And this data is the raw input for the system. Now, if you come to the software layer, it is centered around artificial intelligence or AI. It processes this input and it uses algorithms from the field of affective computing and machine learning for sentiment analysis and pattern recognition. Now, they are very, uh, very, very much interrelated. That means affective computing and sentimental analysis and pattern recognition. Overall, the robot learns to correlate complex patterns like, a, like you uh, make a facial expressions when you are irritated or you are frustrated or you are angry. They can uh, tick that cue and know that uh, there is something wrong in you. And uh, because of his facial expressions or even your sharp tone of uh, voice, with a user's likely emotional state, such as frustration or anger, as I said, the robot learns to correlate complex patterns. They, they are very, very good at finding the patterns, right? So through reinforcement learning, the robot refines its responses, learning which uh, verbal and non-verbal cues de-escalate conflict or foster connection. Now, this technology primarily develops AI, specifically natural language processing or NLP and emotional intelligence models uh, on which we will uh, create more videos, of course, in the future, because that is, a, that is our future also, emotional intelligence. By interacting with the system that offers consistent, constructive feedback Users can practice navigating difficult conversations and understanding emotional triggers. Ultimately, it enhances your skills, which is transferable to human relationships. Now, basically, robots uh, enhances its skills, which is transferable to human relationships. Uh, practically, is done by different types of hardware, software and algorithms. And this, this synchronization 
overall the synch synchronization makes that happen and sometimes guides us to be a better lover so hopefully when super intelligence will come and make this uh, human robot partner smarter than us we can hope that it will be in a better position to guide us to make uh, us better lovers so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden set so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe